you know, your kid come to you, and my daughter came to me like um, late last week. She's like, she woke up twice in the middle of the night, like, hey, my stomach hurt. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, let me go lay you down. And then you lay her down and you soothe her, and she's fine. She goes back to sleep, and she come back again, like in a few hours. Daddy, my stomach hurt. And at that point, like, I just rubbed her stomach and she went to sleep. But it's one of those things of, like, you become this doctor. Like, you're, like, like anything as, that your child runs into, like, you become whatever that is that tackles that problem. And so for me as a father, like, I think about Kobe. Um, like, in that situation, especially, like, the man that Kobe was, like, like Kobe will try to move a mountain and there's no one in the world that can tell him he can't lift that lift that mountain up and move it out the way. And you think about him in this situation, like which is extremely graphic to think about. He's right there with his daughter. Like and he's probably telling her that everything's okay. In his mind he knows it's not. You know, but as a father you can't even show like your child that you don't think it's okay and so for me I just think of that and really believing in my heart that no I was nowhere near that helicopter but I know how he went out um, probably squeezing his daughter tight and telling her everything was gonna be okay. And that crushes me, because I understand it from just being a father. And then you think about his three girls and his wife. There's now no one there to tell them that it's okay. And that's where it kind of crushes me.